Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Still knocking them out for April. So we're going to try like the Dickens to uh, get all the signs out for April by the end of April and all the signs out for May by the end of April. So we're doing this. We're still keeping it rolling. I'm going to keep it going with Gemini. Uh, there it is. It's reading for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for April 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. With the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all. Somebody popped out. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. Five of Wands could be doing some confrontation with somebody. Hmm. Let's see if it comes back out. Anyway, if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay, too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. Three of swords. Heartbreak. Hmm. Time and energy are both fluid. And events can play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And the cross-watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome. We have a good time here. Hmm. The Three of Swords indicate heartbreak, by the way, for those of you who might not be familiar with what the cards mean. Some of you might be new to watching tarot, so I try to explain things. Anyway, while you're here, if you wouldn't mind, I mean, you don't have to, I'm not going to twist your arm. I do appreciate you stopping by. If you want to hit the like button, that'd be great. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can know when I upload videos. It's not always regular. I am still struggling with some pretty funky health issues, so sometimes I go a week or two without being able to upload anything just because of my pain level and not being able to get out of bed and stuff like that. So, anywho, Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Okay. Okay. Before I do the invocation and throw your cards down, Gemini, two things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It is a horrible idea. I don't recommend it for anybody. Don't do it. I read tarot, and I would never do it. So, and two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not resonating with you at all, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's fine. If it's not your story, it's not your story. I am not that cool. I can't pull energy out of the universe for every Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus on the planet. You're all going through different things at different times. It might not be your message. That's fine. We'll try again next time. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April of 2021. Thanks for coming in and hanging out today. Let's bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini, why are you here? The lovers. Oh my God, it's your card. That's cool. <laughs> Just saying. You have a choice. You might have a choice between two. You might be torn between two. Soulmate connections for sure. That's super cool. I like it. Let's see. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. What happened? Queen of Wands, Six of Cups. Okay. Could be somebody you've been playing with for a minute. Somebody intuitive, possibly. Definitely knows their self-worth. Could be a fire sign. Could also be a water sign. Gemini is an air sign. I... It's the energy coming off the cards. If it's ringing a bell, cool. If it's not, that's fine, too. Okay. Six of Cups indicates somebody that you may have known from childhood or through past soul lives. I mean, it could be somebody you've been playing with for a minute. Okay. Hard to tell if this is the, the distant past or the not so distant past, but again, everybody's story is a little bit different. So, Queen of Wands can indicate 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on right now? Two of Pentacles. Finding balance. Making a decision. Maybe you're balancing work and play. Maybe you're trying to make a decision between two people. It is super hard to find balance if you are not totally grounded, though. Notice one foot is off the ground. Hmm. Can also indicate change. You going through some change right now, Gemini? Hmm. It's coming in. Hmm. I do not like this Ten of Swords reversed. I don't like it at all, but we're going to play it in the reverse. The Knave of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles. Same thing. Just different words in the English language. Same thing. It's a messenger. It's an offer. Could indicate some kind of apology. Not necessarily. I think whatever this may be, I don't think you're ready to accept the offer because this Ten of Swords is in the reverse. Something has not come to a completion. Something painful has not come to an end. Something is being drug out. Not quite sure why. That's why we get clarity. Let's play the bottom of the deck real quick for Gemini. Mmm, two of swords. Cards of decisions, my goodness. Decision without not knowing the information? Nine of Wands reversed, throwing in a towel. Hmm. Gemini, did you have to give up on something that meant a lot to you? All right, so we're in a period of change. Um, the judgment, judgment. Making a judgment call in regards to the change in your life. Burying what needs to be buried, resurrecting what needs to be re. Resurrecting what needs to be resurrected. If I can make words come out of my mouth correctly right now. It's the end of a cycle. Okay. Three swords reversed. small offer, possibly possibly an apology depending on who or where it's coming from. Again, everybody's story is different, but this offer is going to come in and this is the first time I've seen a Three of Swords reversed and not necessarily like the vibes coming off of it, but I'm going to get some clarity from the Witch's Tarot before I speak too much on it. I'm, I, I'll be honest, I'm catching this Band-Aid vibe. And I'm not sure I like it. And it's only because this Ten of Swords reversed is here. Because I don't think you're ready. 
you're not ready for the offer. I think you have some healing to do. Knight of Pentacles reversed. You're not ready for it. Hmm. All right. Let's get a little bit of clarity. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Universe, Source, and Spirits. Can I get some clarity? And the cards on the table for Gemini, April 2020. Hmm. Three pentacles reversed. Possibly something was trying to be built on an unsteady foundation. Something just not coming together, possibly. See if it comes back out. moon and the ten of swords. It could have something to do with Pisces season. Maybe these events occurred during Pisces season or around the last full moon or the last new moon. Take it over, it resonates. This could just possibly indicate that you're not supposed to readily know why this came to an end. It sucks. Yeah, that's a ten of swords. That's painful. This hurt. One more on that. Queen of Cups, you feel a great deal of emotion for this person. I think you love them very deeply, and that's okay. That's okay. You may well hold a cup for them for a very long time, Gemini. Okay, well, five of swords. Oh, God, that's loaded. Gosh, that's loaded. Somebody walked off this battlefield very unhappy. And somebody walked off this battlefield victorious. It is hard to tell who is who. I think there was some very shady stuff going on. I'm just going to set this over here. We'll wait and see on that. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh, well, I love immediate answers. Ten of Cups reversed.
Here's the thing. With that Queen of Wands. Yes, she is fiery passion incarnate. She's a woman who knows her worth. She knows what she wants and she goes after it. And she doesn't let anything get in her way. She's She can be very fun to be around and very fun to be with. Maybe even a little bit flirtatious. But she wants what she wants and she wants it now. And when she doesn't get what she wants, she is a cup dumper. And when she isn't happy, nobody's happy. That is something you need to understand about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed here? Four of Cups. That's a card of contemplation. That is a card of, I don't know if I want what's in these cups anymore. I don't know if I want what's in your cup. Hmm. <laughs> Why is the two of swords here? Four Swords Reversed, Restless Energy. Three Swords Propped Up, one still in your hand. Temperance, another card of Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands can also represent Sagittarius. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but it is what it is. Patience. It's a card of patience. It's a card of positive energy. How can you be patiently restless? I think you're just trying to keep the energy flow positive, even though somebody was restless in this situation. One more on that. King of Cups for the Queen of Cups. I'm trying to be patient because you hold a cup for this person. This is very painful. I'm trying to be patient. Why is the Six of Cups here? Strength, the card of Leo. Trust, courage. One more. Queen of Pentacles. They were everything to you. You guys go way back. Wow. That would be hard to let go of, wouldn't it? Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here? Five of Wands. Thrown in the towel due to confrontation. One more. Queen of, Four of Pentacles not being able to let go. Confrontation not being able to let go. Was there confrontation about somebody not being able to let go of something? Did it end because someone held on too hard? Was that why it ended? All 
All right, why is the Two of Pentacles here? We're currently in a state of change here, so. I believe you are currently in separation. And this is a process. Okay, Five of Cups reversed. Two of Pentacles. trying to regain your balance, regain your footing, not trying not to be sad about it. Either you're not sad about it or you're trying not to be sad about it. You're trying to see the blessings and the spilt cups. Emperor, getting your crap together. <laughs> I'm here and getting your crap together. Seven of Cups, exploring other options. That's good, that's good. Why is judgment here? Be wary of the, be, be wary of the cups. Gemini. It's okay to have options, but understand what some of those options entail. There are some not so savory things in some of these cups. So make sure you know what cup you're grabbing, just saying. Why is judgment here? Lovers reversed. Making a judgment call on a situation where love wasn't equal or feelings weren't equal. Burying what needs to be buried. Resurrecting what needs to be resurrected. Ending what needs to be ended. Oh my gosh. You two didn't show yourselves, but you did. Two of Pentacles... Upright, page of swords reversed, cutting off communication, probably blocked communication, allowing change to occur. You're allowing the process to go wherever it needs to go. Just for kicks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at them and we're gonna see if they come back out. The star and the six of pentacles, stars in the reverse. Let's see if they come back out. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Oh. The devil. The shadow side. The shadow side. Which is the devil card in this particular deck. It indicates um, very binding connection at times. It can... It can speak of things of a certain nature. I don't think it is in this instance. A certain nature being... That thing I dance around, if you've been watching the channel long enough, you know what that is. I, I don't think that's what we're talking about here. This screams codependency. This screams binding connection. This screams toxic. Somebody may be a little bit obsessed with you. Or bound to you spiritually, one of the two. I mean screaming toxic right now. Somebody may be coming back in with an apology or there may be some obsessive behaviors going on, either on your end or somebody else's. I don't know. And one more. Ace of Cups reversed. Someone may be coming back with an apology and I see you dumping the cup or not taking the cup one of the two. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here? Nice. Six of Swords. You're moving on. You're packing up the boat and you're moving on to the other side of that lake or the other side of that river where things are, things are different. It's not going to be an easy trip. It's, it's not. That's not a glass lake, friends. That's, that's some ripply water. And if there's ripples in the water, there's waves somewhere else because ripples don't just pop up. Ripples come up when the water is disturbed. 
So just be aware. It's not going to be an easy journey. Never is. And that's okay. One more. Thanks to a sword reversed. And it wasn't an easy decision. Or it's not going to be. Because you hold a cup for this person. But I, I have a sense that they did you dirty and they did you wrong. For some of you. Keep your eyes open. All right. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Eight of Cups reversed. Oh, gosh. One more. Three of Cups reversed. I'm going to say this one time. The only one who has the power to end this painful cycle is you. Nobody can do that for you. You have to do it for you. You know how. I know it's not going to be easy. It's probably going to suck. But it's going to suck a lot a whole lot less than ten swords in your back. Just saying. Isolating yourself from people and friends and returning to the state of sadness not going to solve anything. You have to pull the swords out of your back one by one. And again, you are the only one with the power to do that. Nobody's, nobody can do it for you. It has to come from inside you, friends. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can. Okay. Why is this page... Sorry, why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here? This is going to sound weird, but I like it because I see you rejecting an offer that you know isn't going to go anywhere. You're hopping off the merry-go-round, Gemini. I like it. Don't hop back on the merry-go-round because that does nobody any good. One more on that. Well, that's good. The high priest. Here's the cool thing about the high priest, the hierophant. He marries people. He, he's kind of like the Pope all up in this business. Um, but he's also a teacher. And he's a teacher of life lessons. Specifically, soul lessons. And there's a very valuable lesson in whatever this is. And I think it was a long time learned. And I think this is not the first time you've gone around with this person. But I think this is going to be the last for some of you. I mean, do whatever you're going to do. It's not my life. <clears throat> it's not my journey. I'm just throwing down cards. That's all I'm doing. All right, let's get your advice. And then I got to wrap it up because I got stuff I got to do today. So nine of cups reversed, ace of wands reversed. Oh, that's solid advice. If something feels a little bit too good, you probably shouldn't be doing it. If something can become a, a dirty, nasty habit, you probably shouldn't be doing it. And you probably shouldn't be picking up any new ones either. I don't know what that has to do with this, but it's something somebody needed to hear. So, just go with it. Hangman reversed and the strength reversed. <sighs> Do 
do not stay hung up on what you could not change about other people. It's not your journey. It's theirs. Don't take on somebody else's karma. Because when you stay hung up on it, and you harbor all those negative feelings about it, you take on their karma. Don't do that to yourself. Let it go. Nine of Cups and Death. Nice. Fill your cups with positive things. Go out and find your, your, your last cup of happiness, if you so choose. I mean, you got nine. If you're good with nine for a minute, stay good with nine for a minute. And allow that spiritual change to occur when you let all of this baggage go. So don't go out rushing for that tenth cup yet. Unless you want to. It's up to you. It's your life. Do what you want. King of Swords reversed and the Seven of Swords. Don't go losing your head. Don't make decisions based on emotion. When you're dealing with someone who you know has done you dirty, if they should happen to return to collect what they left behind, you need to approach these decisions with logic. But do what you want. It's your journey, not mine. I just threw down some cards for you. All right, Gemini, I love you guys. Thanks for coming by. Have a wonderful rest of your April. Peace be with you. I will catch you in a few days for your May reading. I got to go, like, do some stuff. So I'll catch you later. Be blessed, friends.